we've been making spinner baits and swim baits this week. And Coop, there's some of the new swim baits we made. He picked the gold fleck in there and we added that to the Sesquara color. What do you want to try first? I want to try that new fan fish. Have All right, there's a spinnerbait rod. We got, what, a chartreuse blade on that. All right, on the spinnerbait. Swing him this way, buddy. Swing him into the boat. All right, open your bail. All right, good job. First fish on your spinnerbait. So we got a first fish of the day on that chartreuse with the green head. Looks good, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, let's let him back in. <clears throat> All right, put him back. Go hard! one took the uh, five inch what's it in mama chalk color but we got a different color to try don't we <laughs> what's that one called do you remember gold no that was the swim baits we made we got one in, in suscra which is green with blue flake all right we'll let this one go good job okay. dude you going snorkeling yeah. Can you catch me some Helgramites? I don't know. You don't know. We'll go get some. Keep reeling them. Swing them out. Pump it out that way. Keep, keep reeling. Don't worry about the paddle. He's behind you. Now pump him up. He ran a long way with that, didn't he? Pump him up. Swing your, swing your rod tip this way, and then reel as you bring it back down to him. Pump him up, and then reel down. Pump him up, and then reel down. All right, now you can swing him my way. Nice catch, dude. Got him. All right. Ouch! Ouch, is he biting you? No, he bit me with his finger on his back. All right, that's on the new Suscraw, five inch, what's it? Like, when you let him go? Yeah, let him go. Get him in. Reel him in. Pump the rod tip up. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one, buddy. On the new color. Here, let me net him. Oh goodness, is he jumping? Swing him this way. He's uh, he's 19 maybe. Oh, he's up in that grass. All right, all right. Got a nice one on the new color. Give me five, buddy. Let's see how big he is. 
He's 19. Nice 19 incher. You want your picture with him, buddy? Paul helped us take a couple pictures here. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. You wanna let him go, buddy? Yeah. Bye bye, fishy. That's a 19 incher. There you go. hang out right in that grass. Um, yeah, it's it's just our five inch what's it? Okay. On the eighth ounce dragon head. I got a pile of them here. I just I had extra because I was making the craws, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna shoot a bunch of them here. So, Give them a try. Thanks. You got eight pounds dragon heads? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then just letting it sit. That's yeah. you do, mate. Pop it up and then reel down to it. Twist him back. All right. Bring the swing the rod tip up my way. Now reel down, reel down. He's coming about. He's coming about. This is hard to reel in. Keep reeling. Lift him up. Rod tip up. Bad angle. Lift the rod tip up, buddy. Pump him up. Alright. Let's see what we got here. He's a nice one. He's a nice one. Alright. You wanna lip him? Okay. Stick your thumb in there. Get him. Pick him up. Lift him up. Good boy. Lift him up. There you go, Coop. What do you think of him? He looks nice. Yeah. How big is he? Here, hold his tail there. Hmm. Hold his tail right on the zero. Right. Swing it to the zero. Swing it up. And he's... He's about 18. Wow, that's big for fish. Another nice 18 incher on the Suscrawl, the uh, five inch, what's it? Go ahead and put I him back. I went up his hairy. Yeah, put him back. Boom. Bye bye. There he goes. Let me see what you got. All right, nice, what is he, 18 or so? He's a nice one. Nice. Yeah. Nice job. Here, hold on to your fish. He was on the purple. The purple wants it, yeah. Nice. Catch, buddy. Thanks. What were you doing with it? Uh, I threw it up above this moving water and I just let it drift down into the slower bubbles right there in the center. So it was just tumbling on a dragon? Yeah, and it, it kind of went over a ledge and then I felt it one solid thump. And then the line just went tight, and I set the hook, and very cool. He took off. He really inhaled it. Sweet, hot huh, fishy. <laughs> All right, let him go. Yeah. Oh, that's a good jump. Yeah. I'm trying to get him to do it again. I do. No, you don't want him to jump. That's when they get off. Is when they jump. You want me to net him? Yeah. I don't think we're ready for. Him. Keep him on that side. Oh. Tip up. A tip up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. And open the bale. 
It's a long way for you to reach, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Okay, we got him. Another one? Is it fun, Daddy, when you catch fish? Yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. All right. I have fun. Here, you get him. Grab him. Alright buddy, last one of the day. You gonna put him back? Yes. Flip him? And say, see you when you're bigger. See you when you're bigger. Right on. Alright, you ready to zoom? Yeah. Something river fishermen need to take into account uh, while they, they fish in the summer is the effect that thunderstorms can have on the relative water clarity. And what's common in the summer is um, for there not to be a significant rise, but there to be um, a good amount of, of sediment stirred up in the river from a thunderstorm. And what you'll get is, you know, with the river flowing down this way, you'll get from one tributary that got a lot of um, a lot of thunderstorms, you'll have a lane of mud ro rolling down one side of the river. And as it moves downstream, that band gets wider and wider until the whole thing is muddy. Uh, what you can do is move to the, you know, to the other side and you have a different tributary. Um, and this happened to me in different rivers uh, over the summer. Um, one was on the Rapidan and Rappahannock River in central Virginia. Uh, this is it also happens on the Susquehanna, where you have a, a river that's a mile wide, um, where you have one branch that is is green water coming down, and then you can have another tributary, it's completely clear. So you can either move into that clear lane and fish this area, or you can stay in the, in the uh, stained water. But what you need to focus on are how you make your presentations, what type of baits that are gonna work best in the different clarity. And generally, you're going to do more of your finesse presentations, and we've done real well with the uh, dead stick 5-inch What's It by Confidence baits, just dead sticking those. Um, and then once we're into the muddier water, you know, we've caught fish on spinner baits and even hard jerk baits, rattle traps, things like that. But unless there's a really good rise, it doesn't really um, affect where they position um, in the river. And it's pretty consistent. Late summer, it's all about the taper ups. You know, fairly stable uh, river levels. If there's a rise, you know, it has to be a pretty significant rise to, to push them to the bank. And um, <clears throat> here's our flow going this way. And a lot of guys are gonna target the, uh, the riffles, the areas right below where there's a little riffle or a, a ledge drop or something like that. And that's a great spot for catching numbers of fish and it's a great spot for catching big fish if you have low light conditions. Early and late in the day, they will, they will, the big fish will visit here and feed fairly heavily. But throughout the day, uh, you're gonna look for taper ups and you're basically gonna <clears throat> go to the, the last little bit of a pool before it ends and they'll be up in two feet or less of water with a high volume of water out in front of them. So basically, where it gets really skinny right before it goes into the next riffle, that that taper up, where you know there's a big deep water area out in front of them. I think it, it gives them a nice view of the entire pool. Uh, that is an A plus spot. Uh, another good spot, what I'd rate as a B spot, is a uh, a mid pool boulder in deep water. Um, but again, you're you're you know you're gonna catch these fish in the clear water by doing finesse presentations and if it's muddy water they're going to be in these same spots with the same sort of relative values you're just going to have to present something that's a little bit louder a little bit flashier that'll get noticed in that turbid water
from the uh, the thunderstorm. Have you learned something from this video? There's a whole lot more to learn with my DVD series available at kayakfishinggear.com and confidencebaits.net. Order your DVD combo pack today.